G'day, my name is Brennan Gregg. This is a quick update on the Dtrace book for the upcoming Solaris 11 release. This is great news for the Dtrace book. Jim and I wrote many of the scripts in, in the Dtrace book on an internal development version of Solaris called Solaris Nevada. Solaris Nevada was released at one point as Open Solaris and is, has now been developed and is going to be released as Solaris 11. So most of the scripts were developed on Solaris 11 pre-release and quite a lot of the scripts actually used features and pro Dtrace providers that were not available in Solaris 10. So the book is actually more suitable, more suited for people running Solaris 11 than Solaris 10. So also as a quick update, I want to mention that uh, we do have the dtracebook.com website is up where you can download all the scripts. And what we'll do is we'll put a table on here when Solaris 11 is launched just to show you the key differences uh, between Solaris 10 and Solaris 11, which in particular will mean you get to run more scripts. Specifically, Chapter 6 was on network lower level protocols. And some of the scripts inside there covered, apart from socket tracing via the syscall provider, uh, all of these scripts. So IP scripts using the IP provider, TCP scripts using the TCP provider, UDP scripts. So for example, here's a, here's a one-liner that's doing IP receive and is aggregating by source address. Uh, this uses the Dtrace IP provider, which, which should be in Solaris 11. It was not in Solaris 10. And you can now run this one liner and all the related scripts with it as well. The same for the TCP provider and the TCP provider scripts. Uh, this one liner is doing TCP accept as established by remote address. So here we can see it's tracing both, both IPv4 and IPv6 addresses and it's showing how many frequency counting the number of new connections that were established. That one's doing um, except established including the port number. Just to give you a sense of what these providers do. This is except refused. So you can see when, which is great for troubleshooting or maybe security monitoring in an emergency to see what connections were failing. If you've tried to do this sort of thing before the uh, dtrace, IP, TCP, and UDP providers. If you tried to dtrace the TCP IP stack, it was really, really hard. Uh, I wrote a script a long time ago called TCP Snoop that used the FPT provider, which broke several times, sorry about that, as the underlying kernel code has changed. And it was a, it was a crying need to have a stable provider so that we could write this script once and it would always work. So that's the really great news about Solaris 11 is that we now have many of these, these stable, high-level network providers so that you can write powerful scripts without having to go and learn a lot of kernel engineering. Um, this one was uh, TCP send, so it's actually doing the um, send packets and doing distribution plots of the uh, size of the packet. I've actually used this um, a fair bit to figure out which clients are doing jumbo frames and which are not. Chapter 7, it's also good news for Chapter 7, the Solaris 11 release, as uh, many of these scripts use providers such as the NFS provider uh, and there's scripts in here that use the iSCSI provider which will now, which should be available in Solaris 11 um, as those providers should be launched. So the Dtrace book for Solaris 11, it's really good news. A whole heap of new scripts, especially the network provider ones, will now work. There is a little bit of bad news and that is some of the system calls were renamed slightly and so some of the system call based scripts will need small tweaks for them to work. Um, and they, these system calls include the open system call. We'll put a, a little errata section on the dtracebook.com website to explain them. But many of the scripts do work. It's really great for dtracing the network stack in particular. So thanks for watching.